Hey, what's up guys? It's Pat and welcome back to Minecraft Epic Proportions. And I actually got my stuff back. I ran all the way back to it. it. Took me a while, but I got it. So we're good and I have learned my lesson. And what we're gonna do from now on is hold on to our charms of keeping. If you don't know what these are, they're basically the same as keep inventory. The charms of keeping one just keep one item, but if I use them like this, I can make charms of keeping two, which probably keeps like some stuff. But I know if I use these, and make charms of charm of keeping three. It's the same as game rule keep inventory. I'll keep all my stuff if I die, although it'll disappear after. So I have a chance. I'm gonna hold on to that from now on to be safe. That should be good. Um, also, I noticed the Hades armor gives me fire resistance too. So it's gonna be cool to like use some of this stuff, get enchants on it. I really want to get a little bit stronger. So today I want to fight a boss. The boss I want to fight is right here. My base crystal this is from Miss of Rio. We've already fought the Demon Angel. We have not fought in the Terran, which just requires Blaze Powder and Onyx and a base crystal, which we have all that stuff, like no problem. So I figured we'd fight that, get some enchantment levels, and then maybe enchant some of my new gear, except for the pants, because they suck. But I know that the Hades armor is probably really good, and so is probably the Cold Steel helmet, since they dropped off the boss. They're probably as good as like the dragon stuff I have, but they don't have enchants on them. So we will test that out. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna fight a boss. Let's do it. I am excited. We're like right next to the battlefield, you know, outside my pirate ship, where we fight everything. And we've got the Terran Crystal. And I think I'm ready to go. Let's do this. I'm excited. And I'm afraid of creepers now, by the way. They, they scare me. I, I have a pet creeper. I don't know how I'm going to deal with them now. Every time I see him, I'm going to have nightmares about that horrible occurrence. I mean, like, how overpowered was that creeper? It's because of infernal mobs and the mutant creatures mixed together. Oh, my God. The power is just unimaginable oh and also we can test out our Thor hammer we can test this out right now because we didn't get a chance to last time because we like got blown up to death all right where's a good spot for this all right you ready Taryn ready to fight me spawn a little further away from me and oh he spawned right on my face again why do you always do that and he's extremely creepy looking it's on fire on fire try the Thor's hammer oh god it just uses it I guess it's gone Mutant creature weapon for the win. I like this. It knocks him back. Can't even get to me. I'm gonna like use the whole durability. But I never get the chance to use these. It's from the mutant zombie. I'm like a crazy mutant zombie right now. It's, it's still lasting. I hit it so many he died. I've killed him. It's still attacking. I hit it so many times. I right clicked like a psychopath. So I right clicked more than you know it could attack. It should stop in probably a minute. There we go. So I've killed him. I really wanted to use that weapon. I feel like I got my revenge on something now. I feel better about myself. Um, if we use this Agonite, we get an Agonite Pickaxe. So it's used to mine Narrow Knight and Dragon Ore, which we already can with the one we have, the Onyx Pickaxe. But it's probably quicker, so we'll probably make one of these. Let's see why not. Probably a really good pickaxe. So we've got 10 levels of experience. Anything else around here? I kind of want to get some before we head back to Eternal Frost. I want to enchant some stuff. There's a mage. Die, you damn mage. I know some people say my bow is a bit overpowering. It is, unless I'm against the infernal mobs. Then they try to steal it from me. <laughs> They're like, I want that instead. It is pretty strong, I have to say, but I still have died, so. There's some dangerous stuff in this series. I probably made it, like, as hard as possible. Oh, just so you guys know, I don't know if I mentioned it in a video or not. Um, since we are over at Ocean is the only reason those are spawning, like, um, the mutant creepers and stuff, um, in Eternal Frost. When we get to land, like I spawned when I died, those won't be there. It'll only be Eternal Frost mobs. So that shouldn't be a problem. Mages, why do you stay in the, near the houses? Die. Stop looking at me. Just die, man. You're gonna light the farm on fire and that's terrible. Give me some experience. And I'm hungry. Oh, God. Oh, no. Pull out, Pat. Pull out. Try to save the sheep. Okay, it's, it's fine. It's not too bad. The damage. Are you all right? You good? All right, thank God. After that, I definitely deserve some ham. Regular, uh... Enderman. I thought it was a mutant one behind him for a second. I, like, froze. Oh, no, he is of darkness. Nope. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, so I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even fight a normal Enderman without him being insane. Let's go. I'm not looking at you. You're the normal one. All right, fine. 
Okay, so screw that idea. Is he still after me? Oh, he's right there. What's up, bro? I'm, I'm trying not to look at you, but you were in the hole. Okay, kill that. This would give me a lot of experience. I imagine. I'm killing them both. All right, switch to the boat. Trying, I'm taking so much damage. I'm, I'm all right. We're fine. And there we go. So we've got 13 levels of experience. Are you all right? Oh, you got stuck. I'm sorry. Okay, 14 levels of experience. That should give us some protection to put on this armor. I feel better now. I'm ready to head back into Eternal Frost. Get some better gear and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do, I made a path down, but it's so freaking long that um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a teleporter off camera next episode so we can go on the surface. But I do want to go back down into the caves and possibly find another dungeon because that was a lot of fun. Okay. So I've got to get rid of some of the stuff, potato, regular charms of keeping. And this, I guess I'll hold on to that. Got another base crystal in case we want to fight a boss again. That is up to us. I've got one black bone there. Do I have another black bone? Not in here. But I may have one in my house. If I do, I'm going to make that Agonite Pickaxe. This is probably really good. What's up, Bommy? I am afraid of all your family. They're evil. You're very nice. You're the only one in the world. Okay, to the treehouse. This dude is freaky, isn't he? Freaks me out a lot. But okay, so um, is there a black bone in here? No? How about in here? I swear I've got one somewhere. I'm just going to put it down for now. I know there is a black bone. It might be in Twilight Forest or around somewhere. Anyways, we need to enchant some of this stuff. And if I had to guess, I'm assuming the Hades armor is probably the strongest one. I mean, look how much it gives me an armor. It's a lot. I don't know. Of course, the chest as well. But I want to give it an enchant. It deserves it. So if I want to do a little on breaking, let's say I just want to do one for now. It wouldn't be too bad. It only cost me two. So I want to at least make it so it doesn't fall apart on me. And we'll give it... Oh, we have enough for uh, protection four, don't we? So now this should help us, guys. I imagine it's probably as good as the dragon armor now. So we're trying to replace it with good stuff. And it should last a while with I'm breaking one. I'll replace that with something better. We get the chance. It doesn't cost more levels to replace it, by the way. Okay, so we are leaving. Back to Eternal Frost. I feel a little safer. Let's see, I put some stuff down in here. Oh, no! I'm going to go to the Fanchon now. Because I know the last two episodes I didn't put you guys in. I'm going to do it right now. Get see some I'm not going to go over there. I'm not going to mess right now. And yeah, the winners um, that I didn't put up last two episodes were Star, James Harrison, Hero Bride Cat, Things NL, Super Games, and Immortal Gamer for the win. But today's winners, doing a little bit early before we head in, they are Eric Tucker. So congrats to you. K-Force 5314 and Callum White. So congrats to all you guys. And now I realize I put the wrong episode numbers, so I need to fix those signs. Oh, well. I'll fix those off camera. But time for us to head back into Eternal Frost. Let me see. Do I need to grab anything? Yeah, my tools. I put them down. I have a bunch of cobblestone from, like, going all the way from the surface and stuff. And I have some nice lamps. I'm going to need this. And I'll put this agonite down here for now. My pork chops. All right. Do I have everything we need here? There's like a little bit frozen pears. <laughs> Alright, I think we're good. Let's go! Back into Eternal Frost. I get that achievement every time I enter it. And here we are. In this very evil land. And we died, like right down there. It was it was pretty bad. I feel like I should probably build some kind of thing here. Some kind of protection. If I have to run into here, we're gonna need to be safe. I know, this looks awful. I'm trying to... If I was able to get into a nice house, I could have been okay. Because I could have just, you know, dug through the wall after. Because I know he was able to hit me, like, without being near me. I'm trying to safen this place up a bit. Looking out for creepers. They could be anywhere, guys. You never know, they're evil. Okay, so I'm just gonna quickly throw something crappy together. So that I can at least feel a little safer while I'm here. There we go. Just need a door. Do I have any wood on me? I think I do. Is there any wood left in this tree or does it just stay up because it's... Yeah, it just stays this way. <laughs> That's alright. 
Okay, so let's just continue on. For now, no door then. It's okay. I'm just gonna put it like... Where nothing would be able to get in. If I put it like this. I mean, I'm gonna be chased by like giant things, not little things. So that's no worries. That should be fine, probably. I say that. Okay, so I'll just run in there if anything terrible happens. So I see a mutant zombie right over there. Gotta be cautious here, guys. So where's my pickaxe? It's right there, my Arctite pickaxe. So I'm gonna look for more dungeon blocks. Oh, there's another one of first eight. He has 600 hit points. I've, I've given up on fighting you guys. You're just too much. I'm going down where it's safe. Get the hell away from me, the dungeon mob. Venture over there. Okay, so we are going to go this way. Towards the bottom of the world right now. And hopefully find some kind of like dungeon blocks around. Ooh, or. Oh, god, dark skulls. Just kill him. Just shoot him. I can't see him. I'm hitting something. I've killed. I may have almost killed another mage. Oh, I got that one. Alright, dodge this. Dodge this, bro. Every time you hit him, is the problem is he kind of like. Is like, doesn't even care. Now I'm blind. Where is he? I want the ore. Alright, he's down there. Intense fights against these guys, isn't it? Oh my god. How much milk would I need to actually do this without having to worry? Where is he invisible now? Die! At least he doesn't take my bow. You know what? While he's doing that, I'm gonna grab some ore. It's like the, you know, the redstone of the of this dimension. Not messing right now. Too dangerous. I don't want to die. So, wow, this place is crazy. Like, you have a really cool view of it from down here. Oh, that actually looks like coal, doesn't it? Is it? There is coal here. Make sure. Nope! Jumped just as they were exploding. <laughs> There's a lot of ore for us to get. There's so much more down here than where we were before. When we were up there next to our portal. Try to grab this and get some tools, some more weapons. Come on, dungeon blocks. It's very dark. So they're probably pretty rare if I had to guess. Adventurer down here. Oh man, this place is huge. And this is just underneath the world. I mean, there's a whole upper world to this place. Hmm. I'm gonna be like searching all around trying to find a dungeon block. Oh god, is that the dude from before? He's still after me. Yeah, it is. Has he recovered his health? How do you do that? Oh my god, this dude is insane. I don't know what's wrong with him. Just be ready. Be ready for more. Alright, I've killed that, and that is like the most... That's the biggest waterfall I've ever seen. Screw you! Die, you stupid mage! I hate your damn dark skull. He's got like darkness sprint. I don't know what else it said. Alright, trying to go mining right now. Trying to be peaceful. Trying to stay away from him. Next to the adventurers. Are they aggressive? Are you guys... You're not aggressive, are you? We're all friends here. So I'm gonna grab all this. We can make lamps out of it too. So I figure, why not? Damn. Alright, so we're just basically exploring through this place. There is ore all over the place right now. So let me get all this. And then make some stuff. We can make... Legs, actually, now that I think about it. A lot of this is like the redstone, though. So much cold stone, or whatever it was called. Ice stone. What is it? It is blue stone. Blue stone. The only thing I didn't say. What is this? Oh, is that like clay? <laughs> I found a dungeon block. It is, yeah, blue clay ball. <laughs> Alright, I found the dungeon block. Um, Please don't. If it kills me again, I'm going to be really mad. I'm going to stand far away so I can. Let's do this, guys. I'm so nervous. Last time, it tried to kill me. I don't know which way it's going to build it in. Okay, thank God. That worked. Alright, so we've got a new dungeon here. Try to get into it if I can. I have no idea where the entrance is. Okay, I have an axe. Axe, where are you? There you are. Okay. Actually, I should open up this and put some stuff in it. Like, I have a ton of things on me now that I don't really want. I should keep this on me. 
<laughs> It'd be really funny if I got myself killed without it. Let me get my shovel, um, and yeah, that should be pretty good for now. Let me keep those. Okay. So I have my axe right there, and we're going to break through this and hopefully get into this dungeon. I hope it's not the same one, though, because that'd be a little upsetting. It spawned, like, right in here. Like, weird spawning. Damn it. How do I get into this? All right, guys, there is one of the spawners. <laughs> this definitely isn't working out correctly. Not like we want. Let me put this down. All right, I'm trying to figure out what to do, what the best solution is to this. Because I want to do the dungeon, but if it's... If they spawn like this, it's going to be a problem. I have to find ones that are out in the open. All right, the last spawner, which should give me a chest, right? Give me a chest. Please break. Takes forever, the last one. And I've got it. That means that a chest should have spawned right there. There it is. Oh, so it kind of works. Not really at all. It was an attempt at a dungeon. I still get my reward. A crystal bucket filled. Anything I can do with that? No. Um, cold porridge. We've got some frost seeds for some gardening and some ice strawberry seeds. That's kind of cool. So let's see what we have to do here. Let me in. And get in here. It's hard to tell what's going on. And it wants a um, shovel again. I'm really hoping that this turns into a dungeon. Did it open up? Not really. I can't tell what's going on. Oh, it did open. Oh, this one worked. This one actually worked. I didn't... I'm not standing in it. Oh, I guess it, like, flew onto that area. Okay, so let me put down this stuff. So we can continue this. I want to get more armor. Get in there. <laughs> he hates the cold, too. You'd think he'd be okay with it. He lives in this area. I'm sorry. I had no idea you didn't like it. I assumed that it would be, like, a nice... Warm bath for you, but I, I guess not. Okay, so we're going in. I'm gonna need a new pickaxe after all this. All right, so the first room did not spawn correctly, but it seems like everything else spawned perfectly. All right, so what we got to do here is destroy these spawners. Pickaxe, it's about to break. You can do it. Get that one. And then that one. And last time, these didn't spawn any mobs. I mean, they just kind of didn't spawn any. Because I killed them so quick, maybe. We can do it again. And the last one. And we can fight the Cold Knight. Or maybe it'll be a different boss. It could be random. I don't know. I don't know. I just want to get more gear from him. And there he is again. Alright, we're heading down. And I was sure it was on the side. Like, right there. Alright, Cold Knight. You ready to get vanquished again? Ouch. I hate how it closes on your face. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. I'm wearing your own gear against you. How does it feel? Hitting him with this weapon. And the problem is with him is that he can't really get to you because of his attacking style. It's kind of slow. Kind of slow, bro. Please, new gear. Ooh, I got the boots. The Loki boots. And I've got the Odin Greaves. Oh, I just, like, completed my set right now. I have completed my set. That worked out perfectly. And where are my, um... I just picked them up. My Greaves. So now, guys, put this fire off me. I fire. Oh, I light everything on fire that's around me now? <laughs> Which one is doing this? Is it the boots? Must be. Yeah, now I'm just on fire. Get this fire off me. <laughs> Get it off me. But if I put the boots back on, will I track fire? Yeah, I do. That is kind of cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to use that for it to not ruin everything around me. That might be good for fighting. <laughs> I'm going to take this off for this minute. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time.